This is Booster Bricks box number two. If you haven't seen the first one, the audio is pretty bad, but you could still watch it to see what's inside. The thing I'm glad about this one is that we actually got one of their boxes. Last time we just got a regular old postage box, but this one actually has the printing on it. The thing that's weird about it is that it says it's a 1x5 brick on the side. On the side there is a uh, hashtag Booster Bricks. And hash and boosterbricks.com. And on the other side, there's a couple minifigures one regular, a boy, and a girl on either side. And then here is the one by five brick, which really triggers me because there's no such thing as a one by five Lego piece. So that made me really mad about this. But otherwise, it's all good. Let's get inside of it. First thing is this little paper which tells you everything inside the box. You don't really need to read much on it because it's the same as the last one. But it shows all the challenges and other stuff. Next thing is this book which they have in every one. I don't really like these books but this one's based on Earth Day which is a really long time ago. But I guess since it's May I guess so whatever. Should have been an April one but whole bunch of stuff in here, I don't read it really though, there's that, whatever that is, it's a little stage or something, um, there's this, sort of like the, my creation page in a Lego magazine, which is sort of cool, I also like the Earth minifigure on that side, and then there's more of the challenges that people did from the last one, with the top hat, the blindfold, and minifigure challenges, Again, my favorite one from the last time was the Premier Challenge, and I built a giant spaceship. If you want to see that, you can see uh, what I built in a separate video from the last one. This one is a clock that somebody else made from the Premier Challenge. Yeah, but I don't really like these books, but I guess they're okay. There's activities in them, and there's always a contest near the front, which I don't know which is. I didn't check. And then their Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at the back. And then this guy, he wants to hypnotize you. Yeah, that's it for the book. Next is the blindfold challenge, which I don't like because last time they gave me a whole bunch of random pieces, but this one's okay. In this one, they give us a whole bunch of bricks, a little spinny thing, um, some glass pieces, a couple of bricked uh, side piece, curved piece, flat piece. Couple plates, which is good, but it's blindfolded. And if you've seen the last one, then you'd know how bad it was. But that's it for the blindfold challenge. Just throw that on the floor with all the other ones. Next is the little bugs, litter bugs challenge. Sorry. You have to build a bug out of these little pieces, which is really not the best. Last time it was a top hat challenge, and this one. Same amount of pieces. It's not a very good amount or pieces to build a bug with. There's no hinges or anything, so you can't make it move. This is what's inside. There's a lever. It's mostly like one by ones though, so it's probably not the best for building a bug, if you ask me. The bricks can help, I guess, but not really. Next is the minifigure challenge, which this time is superhero sidekick. This challenge you don't really understand because it comes with the minifigure. You don't get to make it, and then it just gives you accessories. But it's sort of already pre-done for you. Anyway, I'll show you what we got out of here. This brick is what he's supposed to stand on, but for some reason, whenever I get it, it's never on the brick. It's just loose sideways. Last time it was upside down. I got a little friend's brush. This is the minifigure. It's a really nice one, actually. We got the blonde hair piece, that weird facial expression, the hippie shirt, and just plain pants with no prints on them. There's, I don't think there's any printing on the back, either. For the accessories, there's always sticks and stuff. That's a Ninjago. This is a Christmas wreath. This is a stick for no reason. Binoculars. End of a fire 
extinguisher, a gun, a flame, and the minifigure. Next up is the special piece, spotlight piece of the month. This play, this piece is one of those engine pieces. I don't know what it's actually called. It says at top, but whatever. It was in 101 in a couple of different colors. This is the modified 2x2 two two with grills. Came out in 2002. Next is the Premiere Challenge, which was my favorite one last time, but I'm not sure about this one because it looks like it's mostly plates. We've got two of these big ones, which I'll show you in a second. But look at this. It's mostly plates. So it, if anyone's tried to build with only plates before, then it's it's actually really hard. So we got two giant gray ones, a couple of other pieces, something from Star Wars, a couple of those bottom tower pieces from a castle. These gray pieces I've never had before. I know uh, you probably have some from like a dump truck or something, but I don't have any of those big gray pieces yet. This is from Star Wars. This is from a castle. These are all the plates. There's, there's a lot of the plates. And uh, a couple bricks, police piece, which is sort of cool. Stickers on crooked, though. I don't like that. Um, there's not much in the Premier Challenge. The last one was a lot better. This is what I made in the last one. It's a giant spaceship. You can see for this one, I, I did use a lot of plates, but there is enough bricks to make it work. I don't know what I'll build for this from your challenge. If you know what I should build, comment down in the comment section below what I should build for this from your challenge. Next is this paper. Nothing on the back. Just says booster bricks. Pow, bam, bang, pow, bam, bang. Next one is a real little recycling says that says replay brick, sort of like a business card. I don't know why that's in there. And then we got a whole bunch of loose minifigures. This one, just sort of a weird. This one, also weird. And this one, which is sort of cool because he's a jester shirt. So we got a spaceman, another spaceman, jester shirt, and this 1x4 plate, which was just thrown in there. Next, there is this one little clown guy who is in a bag. He's supposed to come with a pie, but he didn't for some reason. And that pie is actually in a rare yellow color. This is from the Simpsons series 2, I think. So there he is all built up. He's a little clown. I don't really like him, but he works for this box. Next is something I'm really excited about, which is this orange guy from Toy Story 3. And I'll try to get him together in the bag, but it's probably going to take a while. His face flips, so he'll be happy and then mad. Right now he's on his happy expression. So I'm going to try to get this together in the bag. The struggle is real. I finally got him on. It took about five minutes to get his arms on, but I did it. So his face flips over, if I didn't already tell you, which I did. But yeah, that's it for that guy, which I'm pretty excited to get. Because he costs about $10 to buy. So I got I just got him from this box. And I found out how much this box costs. And it's actually about $30, which is insane. Plus tax and shipping, which cost up to $40. So that's it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.